please. Uh, now we're going to have a listen to uh, Ben Mackey from Scribe uh, Copywriting. And what have we got to share with us today, Ben? Thanks, Alan. Today I'm going to be talking about how to tell if your copywriter is the real deal. Um, so I've got a presentation ready to go. So if we can just share screen, I can take it away from there. Have you set that up, Jay? Yeah, it's set up. Good. Okay, just bear with there me. We Here we go. There we are. So, yeah, like I said today, I'm talking about how to tell if your copywriter is the real deal. Because as you know, if you've spent any amount of time online, there's we live in a saturated media landscape, don't we? Like you go on Facebook, you go on LinkedIn, you go on Instagram, and there's all kinds of people making all kinds of claims. For instance, you might see a business saying that they can double your profit in half the time. And the fact is they don't know how much profit you've made and how much time are we talking about. So there's all kinds of people out there making all kinds of claims when it comes to what they can do for your business. And copywriting is no different. And I wanted to be up front here, just in case you're wondering if today's lesson is just a thinly veiled pitch. Well, no, it's not. This is just helping to educate you so you can look for the green flags to help identify the copywriter who's going to be the best fit for you. There is a pitch, but that comes right at the end. And all I'm talking about is the consultancy services that I offer for businesses who just want to get a bit more clarity with their copy strategy. But that doesn't come till the end. So for the moment, I'm just going to educate you quickly on how to tell if your copywriter is the real deal. These are the things that you want to look out for if you're considering getting a copywriter on board. And some of these are intangibles and I just rely, you just have to rely on that gut feeling that you get about some things. So here's how you do it. Number one, you got to ask yourselves, do they promote themselves or do they promote their clients? So when it comes to their messaging, is it generally focused on how they're helping their clients, what results they've got for their clients through their clients' copy, or does it seem to be more self-focused? And the reason this is important to focus on is because you've got to ask, what is their motivation? Is their motivation to help their clients or are they more focused on self-worship, on wanting to advertise how wonderful they are? The real warning sign is, do they have they OD'd on their own hype? What's at the root of the work that they do? Because if it's just about making themselves look good, then they're ultimately not going to be thinking about how they can create better copy for their clients and get better results for the people that are paying them to get results for them. So that's the first thing to look out for. The second thing, the second question to be asking yourself is, do they live in the real world or do they live in a partisan box? So do they understand people even if they disagree with them? Can they understand how other people think? What's shaping their worldview? Uh, if their worldview just seems to be shaped by a, a handful of mainstream sources with direct ties to corporations or, or government, then that's going to limit their thinking. The mark of a great copywriter is their ability to understand people because that's going to translate into how well they understand your target audience if you bring them on board. Because Let's face it, the, 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 the target audience that you might want them to write for, they might not necessarily be their kind of people. And if their worldview is very much shaped into, these are the people who think like me, these are good people, everybody who doesn't share my worldview, doesn't think like me, is either stupid or bad, or more or less, that's a simplified version of the argument. But you know what I'm talking about. If that's their worldview, then that's going to hinder their ability to write copy effectively for people like your target audience who might not necessarily be their kind of people. The mark of a good copywriter is the ability to be innovative, to be able to think outside the box because that translates to how well they're going to be able to strategize and to write your copy as well. Thirdly, do they know how to keep it simple? So when it all boils down to it, how good are they at understanding your goals and converting that into copy that actually works? Because everything else, it's just details. It doesn't matter who they've trained under. It doesn't matter what their, their accreditation is or it doesn't matter what awards they've received or who they know on a first name basis or what books they've read, anything like that. Sure, it, it might be interesting. It might look good, but how good are they at understanding your goals and then being able to convert that into copy? Everything else is just details. And 
often they don't need to be especially verbose. They don't need to have a huge uh, vocabulary because when you think about it, a simple message can often be a great one. Just ask yourself, think of the most memorable lines in cinematic history. Think of all the movies that you've watched over the over the years and the lines that stood out to you. And aren't they often quite simple? Sometimes it's just a few words, a single sentence, and that's what stands out. So does your copywriter know when is the time to keep things simple and do they understand what your number one priority is going to be? Number four. Are they all about the data or are they all about your priorities? Now, to quote David Ogilvie from his book, Confessions of an Advertising Man, which is a fantastic book. And if you haven't read it, I highly recommend that you check it out for yourself. But he has a quote in there that says, either an ad works or it doesn't. So the most, the number one most important outcome for you is in persuading more people from a particular targeted audience to take action in the desired manner. That's what it boils down to. Now, it's unfortunate that uh, that Andy's not here today because I actually would like to use him for an example, but I'm sure he won't mind me doing so in his absence. If you know Andy, you know that he knows computers back to front. I, I, don't, know, I don't know what his brain looks like. I've never seen the x-ray, but I swear it's got a whole bunch of microchips in there. Like He just has this ability to understand how computing systems work, but also to explain it to the, uh, to the layman in a, ter- in a way that doesn't get boring. It's engaging and he's able to boil down all of his knowledge into terms that his audience understand and to make it interesting and entertaining. And this is kind of the same thing that you are thinking about when it comes to copy. Copywriter has a whole wealth of experience. They've read all kinds of training materials. They've read all kinds of books, but they have an ability to make it relatable to their audience and to understand what the number one most important outcome is. Because either your marketing message works or it doesn't. So if they're way too focused on data and, and this number or this figure over here, then it indicates that maybe they're focused on the on the wrong thing rather than focusing on the right thing and the most simple thing, which is your number one most important outcome, which is getting more people from your particular target audience to take action in the desired manner. That's what it comes down to. The other thing to look out for as well is what guarantees they offer, if they offer any guarantees. Because nobody knows your business or what your goals look like better than you do. Let's face it. You're the one who's working in your business day in, day out. You know all the details better than anybody else can because you've got that firsthand lived experience of working in your business. So you know it best, don't you? Now, as much as we would like to get it right 100% of the time, every time, it doesn't always happen. So you've got to ask yourself, if you've got a copywriter on board, and they submit the first draft, and it doesn't quite match what you had in mind for whatever reason, what's going to happen next? Are there any guarantees or protections there in case it's not exactly what you were thinking of? What guarantees are there to ensure that your investment is as low risk as possible? So it's just those five points that I want to share with you today, guys. And a lot of these are intangibles. It's not something that you can measure on a graph, but If you're following a copywriter, if you've spoken with somebody who's a copywriting specialist, over time, these intangibles will become more clear to you. And if they line up with all of these, if you get a green light for all of these, then that's a good indicator that if you get them on board to write your copy, they're going to be a great fit for you. So whatever your current situation is, whatever course of action that you decide on, if you follow these guidelines, it's going to make finding the right person for the job a whole lot easier. And then you can make your decision with real confidence. Now, as I said at the end, maybe you're in a position right now where you don't know if you need copy or you know that you need copy, but you don't know exactly uh, how you pursue that. You don't know exactly what you need. So to help you with that, if you're in that boat, I offer copy consultations. So with that, you get personalized support. You'll get professional feedback, whatever you want to talk about, whatever problems you're having offer solutions that actually work for you. So you'll walk away from that with a strategy. You'll get more clarity to your copywriting projects. And ultimately, whether you get me on board to write your copy, whether somebody else writes your copy, or you realize you need a specialist in a slightly different field to mine, you are going to get the results that really count to you. And those consultations start at $179. So if you're interested in that, just let me know and we will organize our copy consultation. Otherwise, that's it from me today, guys. So I'd like to hand it over to you. If you've got any questions, I'm right here for it. Excellent. Thank you very much for that. Anybody got any questions? Ash. 
Oh, I wasn't actually asking a question. I was just clapping, but <laughs> um, I do have a question. When you do, you, you mentioned copywriting is about keeping it simple. Would mm -hmm. you say research is a large part of it? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Research is yes. That's it. That's my question. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, if you can uh, stop the recording then. Thanks, Jay.